So I've cleaned off the parts for the crew and Celestar blister and we're going to start putting them together. So again, a quick check to see how this dry fits together. And I'm going to use this craft knife to enlarge the holes for the blister, the blister body somewhat. closed. The next part is to, let's have a look at exactly how that will fit on. Aha, here we've got a little peg that that attaches into. So I'm going to enlarge the hole slightly. Then apply a little bit of glue to the peg to soften it. And then a bit of glue to here. Then I'm going to pop that in. So we can now see how it fits on the base. Fits absolutely fine. One last piece to pop on, which is the front which will go on like that. So. There we go, and then... Pop that on. So that is now complete. And ready to be attached to the base. I've removed the base pegs in order to use a scenic base. So, dab, dab, dab. And we've got the blister done. The crew are both four piece models and go together with the heads going in. And you can see how they fit. Uh, and this arm, so we've got the shoulder pad joining there as well as this part, so push that in as hard as it will go and then that's in there. A little bit of glue the head and then because we've got again pegs let's widen those holes a little bit and the hole on the front of the body because we're going to want to press this in so that we've got good joins on the shoulders. And soften the pegs with a bit of glue. Bit of glue on this, bit of glue on this. Bit of glue on this peg. Bit of glue on this shoulder pad in front of here, and then we push them together so we line the bottom leg up, and then we line the top of the body up, and then we push as hard as we can. 
to get that all the way together. So I think that headpiece is maybe a little too big. So what I'll do on the other one is I will shave it down a little bit. Using the craft knife and of course do so on both sides. In effort to avoid that situation. So I can fix that with a little bit of liquid green stuff but I don't want to keep fixing shoulder pads. So We've got this guy here he'll go quite nicely on this scenic base. Bit of glue, bit of glue. Bang. First crew is completed. And the guy on the guy with the bare head, who is the gun captain possibly. So the ammo piece goes in there, used a bit too much plastic glue. So a quick wipe gets rid of most of that. So The head is just going to get popped there, and I'm then going to expand that hole, but also shorten this peg a little bit, because I want a situation where that shoulder pad is flush. So we've got plenty of glue applied, line up various bits of the model and yep that goes in exactly now. Shortening the peg for this art for this bit was absolutely the right decision as we're shaving down the head. So there'll be no additional work required to get that looking fine. So, that is the Celestar Blister and Crew. It's taken me uh, a few minutes to put these together and a few minutes to clean them off, but the results are pretty good. Uh, I should have shortened the peg in this top uh, left corner of the model because that's not gone quite all the way in. I should have also shaved the head down to make sure that didn't prevent it sitting snugly. So I'm going to fix that with a little bit of liquid green stuff. This, no such issues. I might put a little bit of liquid green stuff on this line here just to make that fine. But, goes together fine. Scenic bases look decent. I may add a little bit of rocks, maybe a skull to one or two of them. Uh, and the blister looks fine. So that's that unit assembled. Well, that's how to do it fairly quick. I will of course be doing all the units from Salt Wars. So there'll be plenty of other videos to look at if you're stuck on how to put something together or if you're wondering how to do it. So if you've liked this video hit like or subscribe. Uh, if you feel strongly leave a comment below. Otherwise good gaming.